So for this video, I want to briefly go over the neurological system and the important things that you need to know for the NCLEX exam based on a holistic learning approach that we just spoke about in the previous videos. Now, since prioritization, delegation management, and also obviously infection control is a big chunk in the overall setup of the NCLEX, we can therefore holistically focus on the topics and circumstances within these areas in relation to taking care of your patient with a neurological disorder or disease because that would be the first group of diseases that we will focus on in this video. So first, it's very important for you to understand the use of the Glasgow Coma Scale, right? Now, what it is, is it's simply a scale method of assessing a client's neurological condition. So we basically use the scale when you have a patient who obviously is in a coma or patients who usually comes in with a neurological trauma and you as the nurse in the future this is our way of assessing our patient now what it's it's done through a, a scoring system and the scoring system is from 1 to 15 right and it, 1 to 15 points so it's important to remember that a lower than 8 of a score would indicate a coma right therefore it's gonna be a big priority for us now the Glasgow coma scale is based on three things which are <clears throat> eye opening <clears throat> the motor response of the patient and verbal response so it's based on the eye opening the motor response and the verbal so like I mentioned the scale is composed of three tests eye the verbal and the motor responses and these three values are separate as their sum is being considered. Now, the lowest possible sum of all points is three, which can mean that a patient can either be in a deep coma or death, while the highest is 15, which is a fully awake person. Now, each response will have a maximum of five points, and all three categories would later be added up to get a total of the Glasgow Coma score for the patient. So, for example, with eye response, there are five grades starting with the most severe, which which would be one, and that's when the patient has no eye opening at all, and a five would be when the patient's eyes is opening spontaneously, right? Now, the same applies with the verbal responses of the person, in which there are also five grades with starting with the most severe, and so a nonverbal person or response would be a one, and an oriented patient would be a five, right? So basically, the lowest we can give our patient is a total of three points from a perspective of knowing that our patient can receive a minimum of at least one point right in each of the three categories so how does this apply on the NCLEX right well knowing and remembering that lower than an eight score in the scale indicates a coma in the patient therefore allows us to analyze the questions that we might receive in the NCLEX and use our holistic reasoning to choose the correct answer in our exam. I will be going over more of the NCLEX content that we need to know for the exam in relation to holistic learning in the next few videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.